Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us continue the mobile computing unit 4 guys. So, the first topic of this unit is a mobile IP guys. So, the first question that comes to your mind is, okay, so we know the IP. So, IP is internet protocol, right? Everyone knows it, right? Yes. But what is this mobile IP? So, can that mean that the IP can move? So, that's your initial intention, right? Yes. What you said is somewhat correct, you can say. Okay. So, mobile IP. So, basically, what devices have IP guys? So whenever your device connected to an internet, it gets an IP address. Okay. So when does it get an IP address? Okay. Sorry. When it's connected to internet, you'll be getting an IP address. Okay. So what are the mobile devices property? They can move right from one place to another place. So is the mobile IP means the IP address can also move? Is that something related to it? Yes, it is correct. So, it is a standard communication protocol that is designed to allow mobile, devi mobile device users to move from one network to another network without changing their IP. Okay, so let me give you a best example. So, assume that you are traveling in a train. Okay, so you are going from a let us assume to Delhi to Jammu and Kashmir. Okay, so it's a long journey. I don't know whether there is, uh, it will be, there will be a train track, right? Okay, so assume that there is a train, direct train. Okay, yes. So in this situation, you started from Delhi, you started downloading some movie or watching movie on YouTube. Okay, so in that situation, while you are moving from here to here, at your home place, you checked your IP address. So it is a 127.126.1. 150 sorry 156.127 like that you got some IP okay so you are started traveling so you crossed many states and every places you crossed right so you will be thinking that okay so whenever I am I am into a new cell so basically cell is the small structure right so each having its a base station okay so you will be thinking that okay so whenever I am changing from one base station to another base station my IP might change but that is not true guys so with the help of the concept of mobile IP the mobile IP is a kept constant, but you will just change the connection. That's it with the base stations. Okay. Yes. So the IP is a kept constant instead of changing because if you want to change it, your connection will be lost for some seconds or some minutes. So that is the reason why to avoid that they introduced this mobile IP. So mobile IP is nothing but mobile internet protocol. It is a designed by internet engineers at the task force. That is nothing but IETF. Okay. So it is a standard communication protocol that is designed to allow mobile device users to move from one place to another place or one network to another network without changing their IP. Got it? Yes. So sorry ip is made mobile since during the mobi mobility ip of devices have been changed and system needed to be reconfigured so this was introduced when there is the introduction of these mobile devices okay yes okay so what are the requirements of mobile ip so firstly it should be compatible guys so it supports of same two layers of ip protocol guys so it is going to support the normal ip ip layer protocols which we use like network layer and uh, Okay, so we'll be using network layer and the data link layer. So those two layers are the same reason here also. So no change in the current current end system and the router requirement. So you we are not going to change a lot of things, guys. We are we will be changing only a few minimum things to achieve it. So it is compatible. So we want we are trying here to justify the statement. Okay. So mobile and systems can be communicated with a fixed system. So basically here also it is nothing but the static only, but your device is connected to something with wireless. So that is connected again with the wires only to the other device. So in that way it will work, guys. The wireless. Okay, so mobile IP. Okay. Yes. So security. So authentication of registered users, messages, encryption, everything is done here also. So there is a no loss of loss or any kind of issues here. Okay. And transparency should be individual from the upper layer. Okay. Sorry, should be invisible from the upper layer. So basically whatever the above layer. So assume that the OSI model is the same for the mobile IP also. So basically if some layers are using some protocols, the lower layers will not know or the upper layers will not know what the down lower layers are using. So it is not 100% transparent you can say. Okay. So mobile and the system keeps the IP addresses. Okay. So can continuation of communication after interruption of the link is possible okay so whenever you want to communicate you want to interrupt you want to turn off your wi-fi or anything you can do it okay so efficient and scalable so no effort and any factors if you want to increase your speed or anything you are not going to face any kind of issues okay yes so this is some basic introduction you can say about mobile ip so in the next lecture we will be discussing about the components of ip so here you will be understanding like how a user can move from one location to another location without any issue so how the logic will work so that thing we'll be discussing in our next lecture guys okay yes so let us meet in the next lecture thank you thanks for watching